Greetings everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here, and today's video is how to use Easy Drummer 3 with your electronic drum kit. Let's go. Easy Drummer is a fantastic little piece of software that was created initially for songwriters to get great sounding drum tracks for their songs and their demos. But if you're a drummer and you have an electronic drum kit, you could use what's literally an endless amount of sounds that come with Easy Drummer and all of their expansion packs to play with your electronic kit and just have a lot of fun creating. So in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect Easy Drummer 3 with your electronic drum kit so you can play drums and create and just have an awful lot of fun. Today I'm going to use Easy Drummer as a standalone piece of software, but you can use Easy Drummer in any DAW you have. Just open it up as an instrument and do the exact same thing that I'm going to do here today. First thing you need to do is install the software and then open it up on your computer. So that's what I'm going to do now. When you first open Easy Drummer up, this is what it looks like. They've changed the screen to look really hip. The drums are really clear and crisp and the different drum kits will look cool. They have different environments that the different drum kits are in and I'll show you all of that in just a second. But first, we got to set it up to make sure it works with your electronic drum kit. Let me show you how it's done. First thing you need to do is go to your settings tab up here on the left and go down to audio MIDI setup. This page opens up. I'm going to take one step back here. Whatever electronic kit you have at home, you got to make sure you have the driver of that kit installed in your computer also. I have a beautiful Roland TD50 here and the driver is already installed, but if you have an Alesis kit, Yamaha kit or any other brand, make sure the driver is installed in your machine and then Easy Drummer will see it. So down here at the bottom, active MIDI inputs, the TD50 is checked. Then make sure your output so you can hear what's going on is also set correctly. I'm going through a Universal Audio Apollo. Make sure that's checked. If you were just going to use your computer speakers, you could do that as the output. Or since the TD50 has MIDI over USB, like a lot of electronic drum kits have, you could use that as your interface as well. But today I'm going to use the Apollo, so that's already checked. Also, this next one is super important. The buffer size. When you first open up Easy Drummer, the buffer size is set really high, around 512 samples. You're definitely going to get latency when you play the drums if the buffer setting is that high. Make sure, depending on the computer you have of course, bring the buffer down quite a lot. I put it at 64 samples and I'm not hearing really any latency at all. But if your computer's a little bit older, you might not be able to get away with 64, just make it a little bit higher than that and you're good to go. Just don't keep it as high as 512. Next thing you do is go back to your settings again and this time go to eDrums. Tune Track and Easy Drummer have made this so simple. There are presets for just about every electronic drum kit that is out there in the market today. Right here in the top of the screen it says preset. Click on that and every electronic drum kit just about known to man is in this box. I got the Roland TD50. Go down to the bottom, click on TD50 and now it's going to see it. Every drum I hit is being triggered on the screen. There's a couple other small settings to make so your drums feel natural, mainly in the hi-hat. So what I do over here at the bottom where it says hi-hat pedal, this is the range of where your hi-hat's open and closed in the middle, how you normally play a hi-hat. And you can adjust the feeling of how you play your hi-hat with this slider right here. Again, it's really simple. For me, all I have to do is at fully closed, I take the left side and I just drag it up a little bit and now the hi-hat feels pretty natural. I can open it up to the middle, all the way, get some nice stabs. The last thing that I would turn on is down here on the left in the same hi-hat pedal section, it says openness transitions. It's on default when you first open the program. Go to eDrum Optimized and that just optimizes everything from your electronic drum kit into the software. One last thing, if you by chance have an electronic drum kit that's not in the preset list or if you've used multiple pads to make an electronic drum kit, it's pretty easy to program what you have at home as well. And that all comes from mapping. Right here on the left hand side, go over to the mapping button, hit it, tap on which drum you want to change. I'm going to use this first rack tom. You'll notice 
On the screen here, there's a seven piece kit, three rack toms, two floor toms. I only have one rack tom on my E kit and two floor toms. So I want to get the middle rack tom sound on this rack tom here in front of me. It defaults to the very first, the highest tom. So I'll just click on the second rack tom. That's the sound I want on this drum. I hit the learn button, hit the drum, and now it's triggering the right rack tom. You do that same thing for any instrument on your electronic drum kit and you can map out any sound you want. Let me show you this. On the right side over here you have a shaker sound, tambourine, and a clap. Say for instance you want the clap on that first rack tom for whatever reason. Click on it, hit the learn button, hit the pad, now the clap is here. Super simple. And really that's all there is to it. You just need to learn those few clicks and places to go to connect the drums via the software. And after it's done, it's set. And now you just go through all the sounds and have a great time playing the great sounds that are in Easy Drummer 3. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna click out of this screen, go back to the main screen. Now this is the default kit that shows up the first time you open up the program. Let's check it out. Easy Drummer 3 comes with 15 gig of sounds in the core library, all recorded by famed recording engineer Michael Ilbert, who's done a ton of work. He worked with Max Martin, he's worked with Coldplay, Adele, The Weeknd, all kinds of great bands. He's a fantastic engineer and he recorded all of the drums that are in the core library of Easy Drummer 3 at Hansa Studios in Berlin. So you're getting really high-end sounds out of this program. Now before I get into the different kits, because there's a ton of great sound options in here, you could change and manipulate the sound right on the screen of the very first kit. Say that snare drum sounds a little too high pitched for you. Go over here to your kit, click on whatever drum you want to change. Here's the snare drum. Pull down the tuning. Now you got a really fat sounding snare. Do the same thing with the toms if you want. <laughs> oh, really fat. <laughs> that put a big smile on my face. You could do that with any drum in the program. All right, now let me show you how easy it is to change into the different kits that come with the program. Right over here in the top right, Click on this prompt and you'll see the kits that are in here. Now, any expansion kit you might have, especially if you had Easy Drummer 2 or a previous version, will show up here as well. That's why I have Alt Rock, Americana, Claustrophobic, these kinds of things. Those are our expansion packs. Here, Easy Drummer 3, Bright Room, Main Room, these are the ones that come with the program. And you'll see the background change. If I go to Easy Drummer Tight Room, see how cool that, look how cool that looks. They change the environment that the drums are in just to give you vibe and just have a good time when you're programming your drums. This is what this one sounds like. What I find really cool is that the drums I'm playing on are making the program, the software, react to everything I'm doing on the E-Kit. So if I play soft, it's soft, hard, everything I'm playing on the e-drums, the software is following. Now, once you pick whatever kit you want, go to the next prompt just to the right of that, and this is where you have all kinds of presets. Michael Ilbert has a bunch of his own, and TuneTrack also programmed a bunch of their own presets. I'm just gonna go through a few of them so you can hear what they sound like. Parallel Comp. Let's see what Ambient's Crunch sounds like. Ooh, it's much different. The drums are fat sounding. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that totally sounds great. All right, let's check out a different kit sound now. I'm gonna go from the tight room to the bright room. So notice how cool that drum kit looks, but I only have a five piece drum kit here and there's a lot of other drums there. Again, it's super easy to change up any drum you want. My first rack tom is triggering the second tom of this particular kit. So if you wanna change it back, or change it to anything else, I should say, settings, e-drums. I want that to be my first tom, so I click on it, mapping, learn, hit the drum. Now, I'm triggering that drum. Super simple. Now there's a big fat China symbol up here. Oh, what if I put that China on my crash over here on the right? Settings, e-drums. That symbol is already checked, so then I hit the learn button, hit the pad. Now China's over here. Woo! Let's check out a couple of different sounds from this kit. How about the Big Chief from Michael Ilbert? Let's check out another sound, but this time let's go to a tune track preset because they made some great presets themselves. 70s rock boom. Let's see how boomy it is. Oh man, it really sounds huge. Great sounds in Easy Drummer 3. And that's really about it. What I suggest you do, like you do with any new piece of software, go through it and you're gonna just have to take some time and go through all the sounds because 15 gigabyte of sounds just in the core library alone gives you a ton of sounds. You'll spend hours just trying to hear all of the sounds and the different kit options that come in Easy Drummer 3. And if you have expansion packs, I mean, you could be there for days and weeks and months just going through all the sounds to find your favorites. Easy Drummer comes with a ton of its own grooves inside the program, perfect for a songwriter to use. But us drummers, we could use them too. Hit the Grooves tab, they're all laid out here. Let me just play the top one for you. Here's the very first one, here's what it sounds like. Nice rock groove. And again, there's tons. And if you have expansion packs, from Tune Track, all your expansion MIDI groove packs will be over here on the left. But say you want to make your own groove, it's really simple to do. Just go to the Grooves Editor tab right here. You'll see a big grid section. Turn on the metronome if you want to groove to a metronome, I suggest you do, because then you can kind of quantize it and make it all perfect if you need to. Hit the record button and it'll wait for you to hit the play button to actually start recording. Here we go. Record. Now, everything you just did is right there. What you just recorded are all these diamond shapes right up here in the top. And it's also down here in the bottom in the timeline. Let's listen what we did. Not too bad. Say you wanna fix the time or quantize what you just did. Highlight all of these notes. Right here, there's a timing button. Your quantizing options are right there. And there's a slider right over here under the word quantize. When I move the slider, you'll be able to see the notes move. 
Did you see them moving around? I'll go all the way back down to zero again. What's cool about that is you can go all the way up to 100% and quantize it perfectly to the grid, or you can go somewhere in between if you want. Here's what it sounds like perfectly quantized to the grid. And you can change the quantization as it's playing back if you want to. What if you want your groove to swing a little bit? Well, just move the swing slider. I also brought the quantization slider down a little bit. Check out how it swings, especially on the double kick drum hits. Yeah, giving it a little bit. You can even randomize the quantization. Ha! See, now it's putting it all over the place. Again, like I mentioned before, move the sliders, hit the buttons, see what everything does, and you'll learn it quickly, and you can manipulate your groove exactly how you want. You can also take any individual note and drag it wherever you want, move it to a different sound. Simple as that. Then, if you want to save what you did so you could use it again later, just go back to the Grooves tab. Again, all the MIDI packs are over here on the left. You have to scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see User MIDI. Hit that tab. You have an open screen. Then all you do is drag your groove from the timeline right into this screen. It's adding to the database, and there it is. If you want to rename it so you know what it is later, over here on the right, there's a little arrow down. Click on that. Rename the file. NDV1, and there you go. And there you go, a quick overview on how to use Easy Drummer 3 with your electronic drum kit. They made it super simple. Now just go through the program and have fun with all the great sounds it comes with. If you need any more information about this TuneTrack product or any other TuneTrack product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks again for watching everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click right here for more videos just like this one or go to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.